this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and what I would like to explain to you today is how you can prevent synchronization of a SharePoint document library. Um, as you know by default uh, every user, every you know team member of your site can synchronize uh, a document library to their desktop and what I'm talking about is this sync button over here let me expand into my document library right here. So the sync button is what allows the essentially uh, the, the documents and files and folders to be copied over to a user's um, C drive. And obviously it's a two-way sync and users can um, you know can um, access the data offline and then when they're near Wi-Fi the, the changes will be magically synchronized to SharePoint. So obviously very convenient feature. However, there are situations where you might not necessarily want users to synchronize uh, documents to their desktop, right? If I'm a site owner and it's highly confidential, maybe site, uh, I really don't want uh, my intellectual property on somebody's laptop, right? Uh, I don't want a, you know my team members to download uh, 10,000 files on their laptop because they go to coffee shops, forget uh, their laptops, and you know what can happen, right? The intellectual property is now in somebody's hands. Uh, when it's online, you know, when, when the information is in SharePoint, right, it's all, uh, you know, protected. Uh, you know, you have to log in and everything. When it's in somebody's laptop, uh, as soon as somebody gets their hands on, on their laptop, uh, they can easily get information that is stored on the, on the C drive. So could be pretty dangerous stuff. So for those situations where if you're a site owner and you, you really want to prevent synchronization, you can actually do that. There are two ways for you to do that. You can either prevent uh, synchronization at the library level for a particular document library, or you can do it for the whole site. All right. So let me show you both options. So uh, here is my test site. I have two document libraries here, as you can see, and of course, both of them have the sync button. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable, let's just say this, this is a highly confidential library. I don't want people to sync it. I'm going to disable the sync button. So uh, what you need to do is you need to navigate inside of your library over here. All right, and then you go to gear icon, library settings. We're going behind the scenes. Obviously this is something that only a site owner can do. This is not something that a regular team member can do, right? You need to be a full control, essentially an admin of your site, a site owner. And then you would click on advanced settings. And then if you scroll, you know, to, towards the bottom of the screen, right here, offline client availability. And if you can read here, it says allow items from this library to be downloaded to offline clients. By default, it's set to yes. I'm going to make it a no. Click OK. And what is supposed to happen is that now the sync button is gone. You see? Now, it doesn't mean, you know, my users can still download, right? You can, you know, users can still, you know, download um, the, the, the information uh, to their desktops and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't think I happen to have any files in here, but the bottom line is um, you, users can still download uh, the information, you know, by right clicking and hitting the download button. Um, so that works. What, what we really just prevented is the ability to synchronize. That's all. All right. Uh, now, if you notice, of course, I still have the button available uh, on the sync button available. You see it's gone here. Uh, it's still available on the, another library. So um, the second thing I would like to show you is how you can prevent how you can prevent synchronization for both uh, pretty much for the whole site. Uh, before I do that, let me actually um, you know put the sync back on in here. So uh, let me go back to library settings. I'm going to undo what I just did. I'm going to enable. Uh, enable um, the the synchronization over here. Here we go. Perfect. And what I would like to do now is pretty much disable sync across the board for the whole site. So you see uh, sync button is back in here. I have it in both libraries. I pretty much want to disable synchronization for the whole site. Let me show you how I do, uh, you can do it. Gear icon, uh, site information, 
like if you are in a classic uh, site you need to to click gear icon site settings but because we have a modern page here right there is an extra step so gear icon site information and then after that you go to site settings and then on the left on the search section you will see search and offline availability click that and we have pretty much a very similar command like we did in the library, like we had in the library. You see, allow items to be downloaded. By default, it's set as a yes. We're going to say no. And look at this. We now go back to our site and sync button is gone. All right, sync button is gone. Uh, users can no longer, uh, can no longer um, you know, synchronize. Remember, once again, it doesn't prevent the individual download. If I need to download maybe a document or two or a folder, you know, um, zip up with the files and download to my desktop, I can still do that. But at least I cannot, you know, um, I just prevented my users from synchronizing 20,000 documents uh, pretty much in one shot uh, to, to, their, to their laptop. All right. So that's how you do it. Uh, once again, um, you know, could be a, a pretty useful feature. Uh, sync is obviously a pretty useful feature uh, to begin with, um, but personally, personally, I'm not a huge fan just because of all this security and uh, intellectual property implications. Um, but definitely, if you travel a lot and all that stuff, it, it definitely could be useful. No argument about it. But in case if you need to disable synchronization, you now know how to do it. All right, so thank you very much for your uh, attention and I uh, hope to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much and have a great, great rest of the day. Bye-bye.